how I got God's love? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You know, you can do that. You can go home and tell your family or even your friends anything that you learn here at SBO Junior. Now, as you guys remember, I wasn't a very nice guy before I got God's love. I didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God, and I wasn't very nice to his followers either. I even put them in jail. But remember, after I got God's love, I wanted to share his love everywhere. I even changed my name to Paul. Well, today, I wanted to be able to give God's love away. Can you say that with me? Give God's love away. Great job. If you read in your Bibles, you'll see that not only was I able to give God's love away by talking to the people around me, but I also sent letters to places that were far away. And that allowed me to give God's love away to people all over the world. <clears throat> to the church in Thessalonica, I love you all so much. And I'm proud of the way that you act like Christ every day. You watch my actions and know that God is real by the way I lived when I was with you. You should live this way too. I wish so much that I could be there to watch you grow in your love for Christ. But since I can't be there in person, listen to my words in this letter. Be pure. Love each other. Always pray and give thanks for everything. Be sure to always give God's love away to give others. God's love away. You know, I love keeping in touch with people all around me. And in fact, I was able to realize that just because I was talking to someone nearby, I could also give God's love away to people far away. Both ways, I was able to give God's love away. His friend Silas was in a colony called Philippi. Even though many people liked what they taught about Jesus, the leaders of that place became angry. They were both put in prison, and their hands and feet were put in chains, and a guard was put in charge of the men so that they could not escape. As night came, they didn't sleep, but instead they prayed, and they sang songs to God out loud. All of the other prisoners listened to them. Suddenly, a violent earthquake came, and all of the chains on Paul, Silas, and the other prisoners came off. They were free. The guard came in after the earthquake stopped shaking and saw that Paul and Silas were still in their cell. He fell in front of them, amazed and trembling. I thought he would have left after the earthquake shook off all your chains, but you're still here. I believe in your God and how I've watched you live and how he's watched out for you. Please tell me about his love for me. The guard listened to Paul and Silas tell about God's love for him, and then they all prayed. The guard led them to his home later so that they could tell his family about God too. They all believed and they were baptized that very day. Even though Paul did not like being in jail, he did not become bitter or angry. He knew that God was with him and had allowed a miracle to happen right there in his prison cell. Wow. Did you see how I was able to give God's love away and share God's love to the, that guard and his family? I mean, who would have thought that I could have done such an amazing thing while I was in jail? Well, I have one more story to tell you about how I was able to give God's love away when I didn't think I would be able to. Well, you see, I got much older, and I became a prisoner again. But this time, I was put on a ship, and I was supposed to sail far, far away. But, you see, it was because people didn't like me talking about God and about Jesus and about all the things that he'd done for us. In fact, I, I became very good friends with the people that were on the ship with me. But, you see, things kind of happened, and I got scared sometimes. Sometimes the storms would be really bad, and I thought that I might die. But I had to always remember that God was always with me, and he was always watching over me. And I found even more ways to share God's love, especially when we stopped on the islands along the way. Paul's ship landed on an island called Malta. While they were there, Paul was bitten 
by a snake right on his hand. The people on the island knew that that snake was poisonous, and they waited for him to die. But God protected Paul, and he didn't die. He didn't even get sick. They were amazed. Their chief official heard about this and sent for Paul to come to his house. Paul told him about the love of God, and he also healed many sick people in the village, including the chief's father. This stop on the island as a prisoner became another amazing chance for Paul to tell others about Jesus and to give God's love away to them. Wow. I mean, that was so awesome. I didn't know that chief official before or any of the people on the island. Yet, now his whole family believes, thanks to me, just like the guard back in Philippi. Hey, thanks for listening to me today, guys. You know, I was able to give God's love away in a lot of ways, and you can too. Does anyone remember how I was able to give God's love away to the person in the jail, the guard, and his family? Does anyone remember? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. By telling him about God's love. Yeah, yeah, because I stayed in my cell. I was able to tell him about God's love, and he was able to accept God. And believe that he true and believe that Jesus really was the Son of God. Thanks for listening, guys. But hey, one more time, let's say today's lesson. Give God's love away. Give God's love away. Great job. You know, I can't wait until you guys come back tomorrow. It'll be our last day together, but I hope we're gonna share some more awesome stories about the Bible. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.